To get started on Folks Finance, you'll need a blockchain wallet. In this video, you'll learn how to create one, either using Para or DeFly. Let's start with Para. On either the App Store or the Google Play Store, download Para Wallet. Tap I want to create an account, then tap Create a new account. The next screen will tell you about your wallet's passphrase backup. This is a unique collection of 25 random words which act as a backup key to get into your wallet. Keeping these words safe and secret is extremely important. Write them down and keep multiple copies stored in a secure place. If you lose access to the wallet and can't find your passphrase, you may not be able to access the wallet anymore. After you've written down your passphrase, you'll be asked to select certain words from it in order to confirm you know it. Once you've passed that screen, you can name your wallet, which Para calls an account. After that, you're done, but you'll have to get some algo into the wallet to start using the blockchain. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. You can also create a Para wallet on your web browser using a laptop or desktop. Go to parawallet.app and click Launch Para Web. Click Create an Account. Create a passcode, which you'll be able to remember when using the wallet. Name your account, then back up your passphrase, and your wallet will be created. To get a wallet on DFly, go to the App Store or Google Play Store and download DFly Wallet. In the DFly app, tap Add Your First Account, then tap New in the top left box. Name your wallet, select its color, and choose your security preferences. Finally, tap Create Account. After that, click on Backup Not Created to get your 25 word passphrase. Now that you know how to create a wallet, you'll need to get some algo in there to use it. Check out our video on how to use Para OnRamp to get started. You can also send algo from many centralized crypto exchanges.